Today we're going to be taking a look at the Golden Trio's artifact boxes from the Noble Collection. Welcome back to Aquamenti and if you're new here, my name is Tony. I make videos about Wizarding World news, merch, and events. So if you're into that sort of thing, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the next video. I've been putting off this purchase for so long, but I've finally gotten to the point where I said, you know what, it's time. Let me pick all three of those up and let's check out what's inside. So they come in this nice little small box. They're a lot smaller than I thought they were gonna be. Let's keep going. All right, this is how they come, straight from Noble Collection. And we've got little stickers right here for at least Hermione and Ron. So I'm guessing this is Harry's. Let's go ahead and start from the bottom. Let's try Ron first. Super excited to see these. I'm really looking forward to like the little prop replicas of the like stationary stuff, like the paper replicas, I guess, is another way to say it. All right. Here we go. Here's Ron's. Let me get it out of the box here. Show you guys that Ron Weasley artifact box on the back side just have a little Hogwarts logo we've got a nice little ribbon in the front here so let's pull this open nice so we've got the Marauders map as the cover or like the interior we've got a nice little Gryffindor patch here. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. On the back, it says Warner Brothers Entertainment 2010. So they've had these for quite a while, but <laughs> that, that's why I'm like, hey man, who knows when these will disappear? Let me let me pick them up now before they're gone. Uh, I'm not saying that they're going to be gone, but who, you never know. So a nice little Gryffindor patch. Let's uh, wait to unroll this. I don't know what that is. I think this is packaging art for, so it says screaming yo-yo, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to like do anything with this or if it's just for like display, but check that out. Screaming yo-yos, Weasleys. Ooh, next. Oh, what is this? Okay. This is the Howler. So we've got a little replica of the Howler. Let's open it up. Yup, look at that. Beautiful. It says the whole letter. Ronald Weasley, how dare you steal that car? <laughs> it's funny because the font changes towards the bottom where, where they address Ginny. It says, oh, and Ginny, dear, congratulations on making Gryffindor. So, nice little Howler replica. Let's put that one to the side. Next, we have a Weasley and Weasley receipt, I guess it says. It says, this ticket, yours, your receipt. Thank you for your custom. And it's got little stake and odds. So I guess this is for a drawing, uh, for bets maybe. This is the design. Hopefully you guys can see this nicely. Here's the back. Moving on, this caught my eye. Next, we got an Albus Dumbledore chocolate frog card. And it actually says everything on the back too, which is pretty cool. This one's got really small text. Hopefully you guys can see that. Moving on, looks like we have another raffle ticket. This one's just red instead of green. Oh, we've got actually two more raffle tickets. So that makes it a total of four of these raffle tickets. Hopefully you guys can see these. Next, we have the 420 seconds Quidditch World Cup map of campsite. It's, this is the back side, front side. Let's see. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be glued or not, but here we go. Quidditch Trilenium Stadium entrance merchandise. Found, found and lost wand repairs information spell aid. This is super cool. I really like this one. Okay, last but not least, we have 
this scroll here. Let's see what this is. I like already forgot what's supposed to be in here. Oh, this is a poster. Hopefully I can open it without messing it up. It actually shows you everything on the front of the box. I didn't realize that this is what I would be getting. So this is all the stuff that's inside and you can actually see the poster here, but let me go ahead and try and get that opened up. Okay, this thing is really wrapped like super tight, but hopefully you guys can get the gist here. Let me try and get around it. There we go. Chudley Cannons, 1931, Joseph Ronsky, Award for Excellent Pitch Skills. So that's the poster and if we flip these back in. <laughs> that was really difficult to keep open. So that was the Ron Weasley artifact box. Basically, it's a bunch of props that they would use for the movies or I, I mean proper replicas, sorry. But I just thought it'd be really cool to have like those little things that like people overlook such as a, a Chudley Cannons poster or a Weasley raffle ticket or betting ticket, whatever it is. Um, the Gryffindor patch is cool. Like those little things that like you could just add into your sprinkles in here and there to your collection. Um, I thought it would be really cool to have it. So I was like, let me get all three of them. Next up we've got Hermione Granger. Let's take a look here. All right, Hermione's looks very promising from the front cover. Okay, here we go. Hermione Granger, same on the back, nothing crazy. All right, let's take a look inside. Wow, okay, so we've got the Marauders map again. Looks like we've got another poster. Let's move that to the side. But take a look at this. This is the first thing that stands out to me. It looks like an ornament. Ooh, this is metal, this is nice. I thought it was gonna be like some, uh, I don't know, something really cheap. It says Yule Ball Hogwarts. That's cool. I really like this. Very cool piece. It's pretty thick actually. That's really nice, I like that a lot. This looks like it's Hermione's class schedule, but I have no idea how she would understand this. Only she could understand this. And just take a look at that. If you can make sense of this, let me know in the comments. All right. What are these? Okay, this looks crazy. What is this? Let's see. How to fill in this exam paper. Take a quill ensuring feathers are lined up to the ministry standard. Use magical regulation Azul Marine ink only. Do not fold. Oh, it's already folded. Dang. <laughs> so I guess this is an exam paper to fill out your answers for the questions. That's pretty crazy. That's cool. I like that. Oh, and is this this part two? 10, 11, 12? I guess so. Seven. This might be another section. Cool. Put that to the side. Oop, here we go. Some platform nine and three quarters tickets. Now these tickets aren't as nice as the new ones they came out with that have foiling and stuff, but they are cool little props. On the back, we've got nothing. And then we just have platform nine and three quarters. We're all used to seeing this. So we've got two tickets and then we have a photo of Gilderoy Lockhart. Let me try and get this out of here. A signed photo of Gilderoy Lockhart. It says, to Hermione Granger with love, Gilderoy Lockhart. So that one's pretty cool. That one's funny. I like that. All right, and last but not least, Love Potion. How nice. This looks similar to the, um, very similar to the one at Universal Studios but it is smaller. Another little replica. So it's, it's super cool. Like, so I got a prop replica and then all these other prop replicas that are paper, but this one's cool. So I really like these. These artifact boxes aren't that expensive either. Um, and it's really cool to get like, I personally am more of an officially licensed kind of guy, like, but I will here and there buy stuff on Etsy and you know, all that stuff. But 
I do enjoy getting my official stuff. Throw all this in here. And throw Hermione's schedule in there. Put this ornament back in here. I really like the ornament. That was That's a really nice one. It's very simple, but it's really nice. Just so that I have thrown that in there. Okay. Another poster to unfold here. This one's really long, but I hope you guys get the gist of it. Yule Ball. Just for this poster alone, that box, I, I'm like, this is worth. This is worth it. An actual Yule Ball poster. This is super cool. Yeah, just this poster alone, worth it. Let me see if I can get the whole thing. Hopefully you guys can see this. But essentially, that's the entire poster. Super cool. I might want to get this framed, actually. Okay, that was Hermione's artifact box. Last but not least, we got Harry Potter. This one, instead of a ribbon, I'm not seeing any ribbon. It has a little strap on it. Oh, and it sounds like it's got something pretty heavy in here also. Oh, it's got like a whole backing to it. This one's different. So showing you what it has inside, but we'll go through it obviously. No ribbon. This might have been an updated version. I'm not too sure. Um, the same back here. So it says 2022, so this might be an updated version. So this one, it actually has a little magnetic flap instead of those ribbons, which I kind of like better. But we open it up. We've got the same Marauder's Map print that we've had in every other one. And uh, let's see, let's see what this is right here. This is our first little piece. And there's nothing in it. So I'm pretty sure that's what fell out. But this might have been the thing that fell out. It's pretty heavy and it fits perfectly. We've got a metal, I don't know if you can hear that, metal Hogwarts Express key ring or like luggage tag. There's stuff to write on the back, like lines for you to write your name, I guess, on the back. I would assume this is like a luggage tag. So that's cool. I like that. Let's put that back in there. Let's grab this. Dear Sirius, thank you for Harry's birthday presents. You'd think he'd been born on a broom. James says he's got the look of a seeker, but then James would. We had a very quiet birthday tea, just us and Bathilda, who dotes on Harry. Wormy dropped by late in the day, but seemed down and didn't stay long. James is frustrated being shut up here, but Dumbledore still got his invisibility cloak, so he doesn't have much choice. By the way, Bathilda tells the most amazing stories about our old headmaster. I don't know how much to believe, can it really be true that Dumbledore? That's cool. I really like this. And then looks like we've got a ticket. We've got a ticket to the Quidditch World Cup final. That one's really nice. I do like this full sized ticket. And here's the back. Okay, let's put that to the side. And then we've got something rolled up here. Let's open this. Ooh, this one's cool. Dumbledore's army. And we've got everyone and their signatures. That's really cool. I like this a lot. I like that it comes like this. Like it feels like I stole this from the set you know what i'm saying like it looks realistic it's cool like i don't know i i really like that all right next rolled up item now all the other long rolled up items have been posters but who knows about this one okay yeah so this one's another poster let me see if we can do this one right all right have you seen this wizard? So we've got a nice serious black poster. And then, let's see here. We have a lenticular photo of the Order of the Phoenix. This is really cool. I really like this. I'm not sure how much you can see on the, 
on the camera there, but it's very cool. Hopefully we can get that good lighting in there. And then last but not least, we've got a Hogwarts acceptance letter, Mr. H. Potter. This one, um, not as good as quality of quality that I've seen from other people that have made this but whatever it's included here we go very nice mr. Harry Potter covered under the stairs in that green ink by McGonagall all it's missing is the wax seal but we can live without it so that was every single artifact box from the noble collection let me know what your favorite item was or your favorite box. Um, personally, my three favorite items are the lenticular photo, the Yule Ball poster, and I'm going to have to say the Gryffindor patch. So those are my three favorite items, one from each box. Uh, let me know, if, like I said, what your favorite item was or your favorite box. In case you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can pick up yours. This video was not sponsored in any way. Bought these with my money, so just so you guys are aware. With that being said, thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next Wizarding World news, merch, or events. And I will see you in the next one.